it's some chaos coming. It's going to be times in this situation where I don't know what I'm doing. I've just gotten to the end of my, like, uh, what? Road, rope, as they say. I don't really know the saying. Sometimes I be saying wrong shit on here. I'm not perfect. But you know what I mean. And I got to pray. But in the midst of all of this, I don't even know if this person believe in that. Because that's a fucking issue too. That's the whole evenly yoked thing. Is do we believe in the same things to even activate any type of blessing we're going to get in our life? We got to be on the same page. And that all starts with me. That all starts with me understanding that it has to be that way. Understanding that, okay, if I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, um, active sexually, and I'm not making these women be my wife, or, you know, I'm not choosing one to be my, my wife or whatever, I could potentially create a single home or an unwanted pregnancy. That's my fault. It has been said on this show before. It has been said on this show before. Shout out to Roderick. He said this as well on a post. I'm going to tag you in this, Roderick. Um, essentially, you know, single mother homes is the fault of men. Unwanted pregnancies is the fault of men. It's been said here before. Because we're, we're carrying the seed. We're making the choices on who we sleep with. We're doing that. And we're choosing not to carefully pick who we're doing it with and marry them. I don't want to get into this right now because I understand that there are some people who are uh, married who aren't having sex. There's some sexless sexless marriages, but that, that shouldn't be happening because that's the place for a woman and a man to have sex. And be as lusty as you want to be with each other. Because we know there's a love aspect. We know all of that. But there's a very lustful part of it too. Sometimes you just, hey, that's weird in nature. That's what we do. We procreate. But when it's outside of that bed of the married couple. It's perverted. It's defiled. It does say that in the Christian Bible. And it's, you see it. Outside babies, um, all types of STDs, um, these unwanted pregnancies, you know, children, I know children go up for adoption for all sorts of reasons. Kids can end up in foster care, but I mean, you know, a lot of this is because we have a community and society that's just sex crazy. And you're like that naturally anyway, but you definitely should be like that with your spouse, who are two adults, by the way. If you had two adults that as a society we've agreed upon what's being an adult and two adults getting married, then we won't have to worry about all the other things that happens. The way it does. Because if all sexual activity is reserved for the bedroom of a married man and woman, you don't have all these other issues going on. The issue is when you make laws about that, people feel as though you're taking their personal freedoms away because that's how they feel. People feel like they can do whatever they want to do. And if they do, if it makes them feel good, they should just be able to do it. But remember what I said, you know, when you're just doing what feels good and without any wisdom attached to it, you're going to have a level of chaos. So, men that are out of order, men who are out of order, choose bad mates 
and then create more of a society, a society that is out of order. Men, that is the fault of men, mankind, man, he that you're right. You know, I have been accused of being a red pill channel. I think, you know, there are a few people that believe that. Um, I'm not, hey, it's you're either believing in the truth or the lie. That's what the whole red pill, blue pill thing is. You can choose what, that's for everybody. You can choose what to believe. You really can because you have a choice, but there's there's a definitive truth and there are definitive lies. And you have to pick which one you're going to roll with. Here, I'm going to tell the truth. This is not a, I think the red pill community has turned into bash women because it's open to all men. A lot of men do come who lack confidence, who don't have guidance, who hadn't had this understanding through men. Listen, this is the places they're going to go because men need guidance from men on how to be a man. You need that. That's why you're, you're supposed to get that from your father. But when you don't have your father, you got to come and seek out examples of that and find out, hey, w- what should I be doing? I need to understand this as a man because I said this before, too. Being a man is lonely. Being a man is lonely. Men are loners. And a lot of times a man is trying to figure shit out on his own and he can't. So what must he do? Pray. Seek out the wisdom. Get it. Understand it. And a lot of times it'll come through your peers. But as men, there is a level of behavior. There's an understanding. There is a way that we need to live and you only learn that through other men a man suppose a man supposed to game you up about a woman you learn more about women like exclusively and definitively um through your mother and like women in your family and just being around women as children, you, you really, you get to learn in how women work intimately, but your father is supposed to teach you as a man, what type of woman you need to choose. And a man governs that family, even schooling that those young girls on, Hey, this is the type of man you set the example, the type of man she need to be seeking out. 